back on the door. Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform and welcome to Hampshire. Uh, this is a redone episode of Every Platform because again of my um, SD card issue I've had to redo this trip as well. This is Hampshire 2 and this is Farnborough station located on the southwestern main line. Uh, this is where we're at the moment. Now Farnborough serves southwestern railway only between London Waterloo and Basingstoke and London Waterloo and Portsmouth Harbour. The rest of the trains will use these two tracks here to pass through. Reminds me of Newbury. It is a bit like Newbury, a bit like some others as well, except with curves. Newbury with curves, let's just say that. Um, so anyway, Farnborough Station uh, is known by National Rail as Farnborough Brackets Main. Open bracket, closed bracket, Main in between. But South Western Railway know it as just Farnborough. It's just so it distinguishes itself away from Farnborough North, which is where we're going later. Uh, it is obviously one of two stations within the town as well. Um, this is also the station where you would change up for the Farnborough Air Show, or one of the most famous air shows in the country. So, um, today's plan, we're going to be going around Hampshire, as a stagecoach called, it's gone over the bridge. We're going to be going around Hampshire and some of Berkshire, and seeing some of the stations that, uh, smaller stations, bigger stations, covering off. The day will finish at Basingstoke, so coming up on today's video, you will have... Uh, stations towards Reading, towards Wokingham even, you've got Blackwater and Sandhurst. But before I carry on, through we have a 159 heading over to Exeter, no, to Salisbury from London Waterloo. One five nine zero one five and zero one one. So yeah, carrying on, uh, Sandhurst and Blackwater, as well as some stations on the Reading towards the Loo line, as well as some others that you'll see later on. I will obviously update you with what's coming up later in the video, to, to say any spoilers. Joining me today, we've got Southern Trainspot 2006, James the Braille Photography, and Tom, who hasn't got a YouTube channel. I'm just gonna say that forever. Um, so, um, let's begin the video today here at Farnborough. Enjoy. Right, arriving in now is the 1030 South Western Railway service from Portsmouth Harbour via Basingstoke to London Waterloo. 450094. I should say via Eastley really. That'll be a better description. And 450002. There's that one. That one will be going out in a minute. Is that how far? Okay, arriving in now is the uh, 1030 South Western Railway service from London Waterloo to Basingstoke. And this one is 450 021. You'll see this one go out shortly. Okay, departing out now is the 1033 South Western Railway service to Basingstoke from London Waterloo, formed of 450021 and 450038.
Okay, passing through now, we've got South Western Railway service to Southampton Airport Parkway from London Waterloo. Triple four zero twenty. Triple four double oh six. And Brandon hates his camera because it won't focus properly. <laughs> How fun. Right, off we go now to Farnborough North, the next station on the plan today. It's okay, it's gonna be a lovely day today. Right, we've now reached Farnborough North station, located on the North Downs line. The one thing that immediately strikes me when you get here, I mean, I have been here before, so I don't even know this, but is the manual level crossing. So you can basically open up this gate here and then essentially walk across there and get to the other side. I'm staying this side mainly because I need our trains this side, but that's how you can do it. Uh, but the station itself serves Great Western Railway between Reading and Gatwick Airport as well as Reading and Redhill. I believe Farmer North only serves the Redhill services on the normal pattern, but the Gatwick services will pass through, but then in peak time the Gatwick ones stop on like stopping services because of peak time, you know. Uh, the station is the other station within, as you can guess, the town of Farnborough, but the station is more of the outskirts of Farnborough than Farnborough Main is. So it's actually located sort of within and in the suburban area of Farnborough. Um, but yeah, the station, two platforms served by Great Western Railway hourly, typically. And yeah, that is Farnborough North. Uh, any other facts, obviously I'll bring them up, but we're going to wait for our Great Western Railway service to take us to the next station. So this station is, as you can see, very poorly um, facilitated. So you don't have any waiting room, you don't have any sort of waiting, you have minimal waiting shelters at the end of the platforms. And like I said, there is a manual level crossing. Um, the town's historic heart is how this station is known. Um, so you could say that but i don't know don't see much history around here to be honest but there probably is um there's only minimal history about this station that it was renamed um but yeah otherwise there's no taxi rank there's no real facilities it's only got a very small car park and farm remain is as you can tell the busiest station so yes but as you can tell very basic but very well looked after station as it's got nice trees and a good historic sort of crest branding um Sorry, historic crests, which populate the station really on this side of the platform and on the other side as well with all the all the little uh, bushes that have grown. It's quite nice. All the little plants and bushes. All vegetation, you want to generalise it. So we're going to wait for our train now, the 1105 Great Western Railway service to take us to Sandhurst, the next station on the plan. We shall see you when the train arrives. Right, arriving in now is 165105, which is the... Uh, 1105 Great Western Railway service from Redhill to Reading. And we're going to take this to Sandhurst. I'll update you when we get there. So here we are at Sandhurst, the turbo's literally just gone through heading towards Gatwick. Gonna walk into here a minute. I'm gonna update you in just a moment. So there goes 165105. We're now here at Sandhurst Station, located in Berkshire. Yes, it goes against the Hampshire sort of plan, but it is generally Hampshire we're in, but some little bits of Berkshire as well. Uh, this station, um, located on the North Downs Line, serves hourly services between um, Reading and Redhill. We turn around here, you'll see the very nice view. It's a basic station, 
with two waiting shelters announcements of course um, but the more unique thing about this station is when you walk down the hill towards the exit you're kind of smaller than the, the actual tracks the platform's bigger than you because if we walk down here to where James is where Brandon is there you can tell that the tracks sort of the, the uh, sorry the path sort of goes down and then the track you're alongside it it's actually quite nice kind of feels like you're yeah you're up next to it sadly we won't see many trains so we've got to go shortly but this is Sandhurst station uh, yeah that's uh, that's the station for you any other facts obviously we'll come up with them and let you know but otherwise this is the station okay so we're now on board a E200 MMC heading over to uh, Blackwater station but we're going to be getting off uh, another stop about 15 minutes away this is one of the brand new 71 play E200 MMC so we're on a quite a brand new one as you can tell by the inside and the seating, it's very sort of standard in 200 MMC, so yeah. Um, we'll update you when we get there, uh, but here we are on board. So we just got off the 194 bus, E200 MMC, quite nice actually that one, it's one of the brand new 71 plates as I said in, in the bus. We're now here and we're going to head to Blackwater station but we're going to have a quick drink stop, quick pit stop and then we're going to carry on. So we'll update you very soon. Hey, we've now made it to Blackwater station, just in time for our next train to arrive. So. Here we are, I'm just going to walk along the platform first while the train's coming in. Right, so here we are at Blackwater, uh, nearest station to the Blackwater Valley, um, located in the town of Blackwater in Hampshire. Um, the station is served by more GWR services, as this one is served by the Gatwick Airport services, so it's one train every half an hour. Um, got a big, it's got a mini car park just opposite it. And yeah, that is Blackwater station. Now obviously here is it, here it is from the other side. And yeah, it's a nice area around there. We obviously just took a walk and got a drink and stopped off for a little bit. We're just now in time for our train, which is going to arrive in a minute. Just the 12:10 for Austin Railway service to Reading, and here it is now. Sorry it was a bit short and sweet, but uh, not much to the station anyway. But it is Blackwater Station, and now we're going to head over to Wokingham. We'll update you soon. So, we're about to leave Blackwater now. One fact about the station, which I wanted to add whilst we're on board, is um, that the station actually has is actually located on the border of Hampshire and Berkshire. So, as we leave now, we're going to be going back into Berkshire as we head towards Wokingham but yeah it's located on the border so there's not many facts to the station other than it is a basic facility one like Sandhurst is so it wasn't really anything major to walk back and if Brandon having an ice cream he's enjoying himself and yeah we'll update you soon uh, when we're at Wokingham we're now here at Wokingham off coast 450 and 010 as well as 
Tom goes on the Tour 24 Great Western Railway service to Reading from Redhill. So we've done Wokingham before, this is just a change point for us as we now head over to catch not specifically that one, there goes an E400. That's going towards Reading, I think. Oh no, that's the X4, that's why. Yeah, different. Anyway, right, so um, we'll update you when we uh, go catch the bus towards Bracknell, our next station we plan today. Right, arriving in is the 1228 Southwestern Railway service from Ascot to Reading. And this one is 45126. see this one head out very shortly to go to Reading. Okay and then now is for leaving now is 45126 as well as arriving 165113 heading to Redhill. Now calls at Winners Triangle, Winners Early, and Reading. And there's 165113 over there. So we're going to update you when um, we get onto the bus and head over to Bracknell. <laughs> right, we're here at Wokingham Station Interchange. As you can tell, it's just two bus stops one and two. And we're waiting here for our number four bus, which is going to take us over to Bracknell. And a car alarm is going off like mad. As you can see, we're right next to Wokingham Station. So as you look in there. But uh, yeah, the interchange bus stop is right outside. So that's nice and convenient. So uh, we'll update you when we head over to Bracknell on the bus. So update you when we're on board. Right, we're on board an E400 now. I forgot to do an update. Uh, we're on board the E400 now. We're nearly at Bracknell bus station. Um, and the seats are really nice on these. They're lovely buses. Horse and Groom, that's the next stop. But yeah, we're heading over to Bracknell bus station and um, we'll update you very soon. This is Z400, I think it's fleet number 216, as it says up there on the stopping side. 216. We'll update you soon. Right, we're now off here at Bracknell bus station, as you can see it. There's Bracknell Station right there. Bracknell Bus Station is literally this entire thing around here. So to give you an idea, just so for those who do like buses, uh, you have an, this big red E400 MMC is an ex Yellow Buses Loney. That I think it was on loan from here, going to Yellow Buses in Bournemouth. You've got the Thames Valley 194, that's one of the newer ones that have come in. Uh, right, B7 Right Eclipse 2, which is just left over there, an E200 MMC. And then E400, R1, which is running the X4. That's R1 that goes back to Reading now, via Wokingham. So, we're heading to Bracknell now, and the next stop for us is Ascot, so we'll update you very soon. Right, so we're here now at uh, Brass, uh, Brass, Bracknell, try that again, Bracknell. This station is located on the Reading to Waterloo line, and as you can tell, quite a new station. Uh, the station is actually located right underneath the Bracknell Quintiles building, which is this big yellow building that you can see right now. Um, station's two platforms, it serves a half hourly service between today, Reading and Ascot, but normally Reading to London Waterloo via several places, but today it is uh, Ascot due to engineering works beyond so there'll be replacement buses i wonder if uh, there'll be anything on there but anyway so um yeah there's not very much else to say about the station other than it has had improvement works over time uh, more details of that are on screen now but um in terms of the actual station it is a basic one but it serves a big town and the bus station's right outside so that's convenient 
Um, the next train is our train, the 1329 South Western Railway service to Ascot, and we're taking it to Ascot. We'll update you when the train arrives. This is Bracknell, and there is a road bridge just beyond here, which uh, overlooks the station as well. But yeah, Bracknell Station. Okay, arriving now is the 1329 South Western Railway service from Reading to Ascot. And it is 4.50.126. We saw this at Wokingham. We'll update you when we get to Ascot very shortly. Okay, we're now arriving here in two. Uh, Ascot, where the train today is terminating due to engineering works. So, this is also the next station on the plan. <coughs> This train will be terminating here today, and then the 1344 service to Reading, which is this one, will be departing very shortly. Um, and then we'll talk more about the station in a moment. Here we are at Ascot though. Junction for the line to Aldershot, which is where we're heading. And we have 450127, which is, excuse me, which is taking us. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, let this train go and then go from there. So, uh, currently on board a rail placement bus, uh, very kindly the driver of it said we could have a look. Uh, so it's next go ahead, as you can tell. But yeah, it's really nice. Uh, some Haribos. Uh, yeah, some Haribos. <laughs> Somehow someone's dropped them. But yeah, this is on rail placement, going to Harmsley. Next to it is an MPC E400 MMC. She's just sat on the other side. But yeah, we, we, we took an interest into the president. We had to, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Looks really nice. X go ahead. The seats are very similar to that of uh, one that we have in Plymouth as well. But they're very cool. Right, we'll update you. We're going to watch the 13, hopefully, 1344 service go to Reading. But yeah, we'll show you on board. This driver was very kindly let us on to have a look. So as we walk around Ascot, the station has three platforms, one for the junction to the Guildford, sorry, the Ascot to you, all the shop line. We're just going to walk up over the footbridge whilst I talk through it. So the station is also very famous for horse racing, this town is very famous for horse racing. So this station can get very, very busy, very, very easily. Um, which is pretty good. I can tell it's been modernized quite a lot um, through the footbridge. Um, like I say, everything's all well signposted. The trains to Reading, it would normally be platform two, but for today only it's platform one due to the engineering work. So nothing is leaving from two. And it does say trains to Guildford, but it's not. It's trains to Aldershot, um, which we're going on now. But yeah. As we walk down. You can see as we go down, here's platform three. This is for older shot. And this is 45127, which we're taking. Any other facts about the station? I will let you know before we leave. So just before we leave um, Ascot, I do like to present facts where I can. So this station on platform one has two platform faces, as you probably saw when we came in. Um, now, it has two platform faces for the reason that it used to be easier to access trains from either side but now obviously it's changed because of the oh it's just the changes to the yeah i am don't worry but yeah um it's because of the changes to staff monitoring i think it's easier for them to monitor one side because up until 2008 it was both sides so it would be open Platform 2 there is used for Reading bound, Platform 1 is for London bound and today Reading bound and Platform 3 here used for trains to Aldershot. So we're going to get on now, 
yeah, it's got two platform faces. There are a few examples like that, and we will see them throughout the series, but that's an, Ascot is another one. We'll update you uh, when we get to the next station. Bagshot. Right, we're now here at Bagshot station. God blew his whistle. <laughs> Proper whistle that. I have a whistle. Um, <laughs> I haven't heard one of them in ages because of Covid. They usually have that hand click on. Yeah. So that's um, it's pretty cool. I haven't heard one of them for ages since Covid. But anyway, off goes 450.127 heading over to Older Shop from Ascot. So this station is Bagshot, located on the Ascot to Aldershot line. Uh, this station is one of the only ones on the line which I've actually never been off at. Um, actually one or two, because I only went off at one. That was Camberley, oops. Um, so I haven't really, can't really make an excuse for that. Um, so Bagshot is located, like I say, it's in Hampshire. I believe it's in Hampshire anyway, but uh, yeah. We'll update you more about the station very shortly and then go from there. But this is Bagshot Station. So this station, Bagshot, is obviously quite small, quite uh, basic, like some of them. Um, there's a little shutter over there, which is literally used for the ticket office. And it's only open at peak times. Obviously two entrances. Um, the station's had the basic history of being opened um, quite early on. There's Tom enjoying his life and there's James as well. Um, and then you've got the old footbridge there, which hasn't really, there's not really much that needs to be done to the station really to make it look really pretty because it is surrounded by a lot of greenery and it's really, really nice. I like the station. Um, but in terms of the, the place itself, this place is actually surrounded and the land around it is owned by the Ministry of Defence. So it is very, it must be quite commonly used for training, um, training regimes and practices. Um, and as well as that, it's quite close to the M3 um, and it does have a couple of twinning villages as well. Um, but it is, um, but yeah, the M3 is very close to Bagshot. And this place is actually in Surrey, not in Hampshire. So we've been to Berkshire, Hampshire and Surrey so far today. It's been a bit of a mix of places. But the next station for us is Camberley. We'll update you when we get there. We're gonna get the bus now. Okay, so we're now here at Bagshot Square. Just uh, just a few minutes away from Bagshot Station, there's actually a little viaduct over there which looks over the station, well, as the train's approaching, going into the station. But yeah, there's a couple of bus shelters here, so we've got this one and one on the other side. Basically Bagshot's main area for buses, which is only a couple of them. But we're on the 34, which is going to be here very shortly. We'll update you when we're on board. But uh, yeah. yeah. We... Uh, should be updating soon. Still to come on the video today, we've got Camberley, Frimley, Aldershot, Bentley, sorry, Alton, Bentley, and Brookwood. So we've still got quite a bit to go. So keep an eye out for them. And we'll update you very soon with, uh, when we're on the bus. Okay, we're now on board uh, E300, by Stagecoach, Stagecoach South. And uh, we're heading over to Camberley Station on this. are they you know standard stagecoach if you like but uh we'll update you when we get over to Camden station shortly and we've got fleet number 27386 heading over towards Camberley so we just left there's an E300 there which uh, has just brought us here to Camberley and we're now going to walk up to the station and head over to Frimley. There's a travel lodge. Uh, <laughs> Camberley was doing so well. Update you soon. Right, so now here at Camberley Station. Now, I won't act surprised. This is probably one of the most grim entrances I've ever seen in my life. 
this was evidence from the last time I came here and actually did the previous Hampshire 2 video. Oh, it's locked this time. Okay, right, last time it wasn't. Um, so yeah, we're back here again. But, uh, but first time you guys have seen it on video, the entrance is absolutely grim. Um, it's like really um, sort of ran down inside and not very good, not very nice, not very pleasant. So, but yeah, we're here on now platform two. Just trains to, well, platform two, and for trains to Aldershot, Farnham and Guildford via the footbridge. So, we're on platform one at the moment. So, this is Camberley. And this station is got a very small footbridge. Um, but the station itself um, serves a half hourly service between Aldershot and Ascot. Um, pretty good. Nice little station. Got a nice little curb as well. And trains do seem to have dwell time here quite a lot when they turn up. So, but yeah, here we are at Camberley. I'll update you with any facts should there be any. Okay, arriving in is the 1509 South Western Railway Service to Aldershot from Ascot, which is going to be 450 104. It's going to take us over to Frimley. It's coming a bit early, but uh, it is here. for another five minutes but it is now here and uh, some people don't read the time and run for the train even though it's got five minutes there but yeah um this is 450.104 so yeah Frimley, Ashvale and Older Shop we'll update you very soon so, this station, interesting fact for you, actually had a second platform opened. So, this station, for a long while after it opened, 15 years after, um, after its opening, or during its opening, the first 15 years, it only had one platform. It wasn't until 15 years later um, that it was actually um, double-tracked and then electrified in 1939. So, this line has had electrification for a long time. So, as you can tell, the entrance, like I say, it is pretty grim, so there isn't, it isn't very appealing. But the footbridge is nice, although it is barricaded off, so it's like one's for the footbridge going to the main road, the level crossing, and the other one bringing down here. So it's just to stop people, like, trespassing onto the station when they haven't paid. So, yeah. We're now going to take this to Aldershot, uh, sorry, Frimley. And then we're going to go from there. So, next stop, Frimley on board 450-104. Okay, we've now made it to Frimley. This is Frimley. This train is for Okay, perfect. Yeah. So here we are at Frimley Station. And this is the 1513 South Western Railway Service to Aldershot. Calling it Ashvale and Aldershot. I will clear something up um, in the next bit, just to let you know as know about Ashvale more than anything. This is Frimley Station, and this serves the town of Frimley in Hampshire. Uh, I believe it's Hampshire this time. So, before we go into Frimley, um, well actually I'll talk about it, it's the same as Camberley and Bagshot, it serves a half hourly service. However, this station probably is the nicest looking out of them all. It's got a really nice surrounding to it. Got a lovely waiting shelter, it's quite spacious. Got a nice little station building. Um, and yeah, it's a half hourly service in between, obviously, Ascot and Aldershot. Now, a little point I want to raise, and that's about Ashvale Station. Now, Ashvale isn't being, isn't being ignored. Ashvale is being done on another trip, which I have planned uh, for another time. And that Ashvale will be covered there, because I feel like that with the time limits we have today, I had to pick one station to leave out. So I left Ashvale out purely for the reason that it's easiest to get back to. 
if I wanted to do another trip. So this was all planned. Ashvale was never intended to be part today, but it will be part of another trip very soon. Um, so that is, so this is Frimley and we'll update you very soon with any facts about Frimley. Sounds like a series that Sheldon Cooper would do. Fun with Frimley, instead of fun with flags. Okay, this station, Frimley, uh, actually beyond here going towards Ashvale and Brookwood, um, it actually goes single track up and towards Ashvale. Um, the reason for this, I believe, is because this is the section of the track which has the most clearance in terms of lines. So um, as soon as, you know, because the next train here is at 15.40, so it allows the one train to go in, terminate at Aldershot and then come back again. Because the next train here is at 15.40, and that is uh, this particular uh, the, the, the train we just got off at 4.50.104 and yeah that is actually the fact about Frimley that I wanted to share is that it does go single track just beyond here going to Ash Vale um, you see the yellow line sort of been painted over so it looks nice and clear I wish all stations would do this but they don't unfortunately anyway not much else to say about the station it is just a basic station but it does have its unique quirks to it, like this yellow line. <laughs> Not really. Um, it's nice scenery around it. I guess that's that's an argument you can make for it. Let's go over to Aldershot. We'll update you soon. Okay, I'm now on board a Stagecoach Gold E400 MMC. My first time on Stagecoach Gold in a long time, on the brand anyway. Uh, we're now taking this to uh, Aldershot. James, sadly, is taking it to Farnborough, where he's yep. leaving us. Yep. And then we're gonna head over to Old Shot and continue the day. Seating is lovely. Brandon, do you like Stagecoach Gold? No. Oh, that's a shame. Seats are, right. Seats are quite nice, actually. They're very, very comfortable. The padding is amazing. But yeah. Now, I'm gonna keep the clip on just for a second because if you listen carefully, you'll listen to who's doing the automated announcements and you might recognize it from several memes. Oh, I've listened. I've listened. Here we go. Had to be this moment that he didn't know you wouldn't. There we go. Wow. Right, so we're now at Older Shots bus station. Now you can see um, the railway station is literally here, um, Older Shot. But the bus station is right behind, and it's got quite a few in there. There's two E200s. There's a Dart, which is, looks very nice. Uh, there's an E400 MMC, which we literally just got off of the Stagecoach Gold. Really like their seats. They are really nice. And the announcements are literally a meme. There's another Gold on the other side, which uh, doing something. It's got to come there. Both going to Camberley then, Camberley and Old Dean. Um, and yeah, there was an Octa Solo SR literally in here, but it's gone now. Um, so we're going to go inside. Bus, bus station is just a red shelter. There's nothing special about it really. But we're going to go inside now, and we're going to head over to Alton next. We're going to have a few, few minutes at Alton, but we are going to clear it and get as much as we can in terms of info. So I'll update you soon. See if any trains pop up at older shot during our wait. Right, the point right now, we've got 450046 and 450072 heading out on the 1604 start from the railway service from Alton to London Waterloo. There goes that one. Why does that 450 sound like it's on the central line? That was really random, that. I'm happy now. What? I'm happy now. Why are you happy? You just looked at the England lineup, haven't you? Who's starting? Is Tyra Ming starting? 
No. Is Ollie Watkins starting? No, but he's in the timesheet. He's in the team sheet. Oh, Ollie Villa Watkins. Oh, he's happy. Villa fan here. It's right, better than Birmingham City. Sorry, Rob. They're a better league. Anyway, so, um, yeah, all the shot. What do they serve? Services to Alton. Services over to Ascot. And also services between Farnham and Guildford serve here as well. Going via um, Ash and Wombra. So they go over to Guildford that way. Um, the station is one of the busier ones. It serves quite the big town of Aldershot. If there are any other facts about the station, we will update you and tell you. But there are three platforms in the run platform number one at the moment, which is used for services towards Guildford and London Waterloo. Two is used for services towards Alton and Farnham. And three is used for the Ascot Aldershot shuttles. So, yes, we'll update you soon with any other trains. Okay, arriving here is the 1610 Southwestern Railway Service 2. Uh, Guildford, it's 450 triple one. 450 triple one, otherwise known as the Saturday Night Takeaway Express, as it was featured on Ant and Deck Saturday Night Takeaway as the first new livery SWR unit, even though that wasn't the reason it was on there. Um, but yes, we'll update you soon when this one is uh, leaving. Okay, going on now is 450 triple one, Saturday Night Takeaway Express, with the 1610 Southwestern Railway service to Ash, Wombra and Guildford from Farnham. Have these 450s been fitted with new motors or something? Because they all sound like even on the bloody central line. Mental. Anyway, arriving in here as well is the 1611 Southwestern Railway Service to uh, Farnham 450076. is next stop for that one is Farnham only so that one will go up shortly okay going out now is the 1611 Southwestern Railway service to Farnham only Must be the third rail doing it or something, making that noise. I've never heard that much on 450s before. Or maybe I'm just deaf. Probably the latter. That one goes anyway, heading over to Farnham. Next clip will be our train to Alton. Here's 450 Sorry about the sight, the start to the clip. And on the rear is... 450-068 and we're heading over to Alton on this one. Update you when we get there. Okay, we've now reached Alton station. So, um, 450s are here, but we're over here on the Watercrest line, which is for the mid Hans Railway. There is a steam heading out, heading over on the mid Hans Railway. Good timing, that. The timing couldn't have been better. This station, Alton, is the terminus of the Southwestern Railway section, but beyond here you've got the Heritage Railway, the Mid Hans Railway, which is pretty nice. Um, so 
very, very good indeed. We haven't got too long here, but the station here serves Southwestern Railway to London Waterloo. That's literally it, and the Mid-Hance Railway. So very, very good. This is the third platform, this special heritage platform, yeah. which interconnects with the main line and the obviously old heritage station signs as well. But we're gonna head back onto the main line. We're going to Bentley. We'll update you shortly. So as we are at Alton Station, we're gonna do a bit of a walk and talk with this one to give you a walking tour as we walk over to the other platform. But like I say, this station is the terminus station. No trains go beyond here that are operated by the main line. So South Western Railway essentially. Um, all heritage going beyond here. Uh, stations had a modern footbridge installation a few years ago. Uh, so it's a fairly modern station with a fairly old section to it, which is nice. Uh, very accessible and uh, yeah, serves the town of Alton and that is in Hampshire. So, Alton Towers? And no, it is not the nearest station to Alton Towers. However, apparently there were signs up here a few years ago which directed people away from here who actually thought Alton Towers was here when actually it's in Staffordshire. People have come here. What? So one of the most what? notorious things you could probably do in the UK is mistake this place for where Alton Towers is. Oh no, it's not. So, this is our train. There's an E400 MMC down there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna board this one and head to Bentley. Sorry, it's a bit short here, but this is the station. And this is the other platform, platform one. And this is for services that terminate here, as well as two is, they're both there for it. So I'm gonna update you when we get on, when we're at Bentley. Right, we're now here at Bentley Station. And this station I've been to uh, on the previous video as well that oh, it didn't materialize, but um, we're now here again, hopefully this time. I'm actually gonna walk down here. There's a little foot crossing literally just down here where the train will leave from. And we have 450055 Nice time Here we are, this is Bentley Station. Probably one of the quietest stations I've ever seen in Hampshire, purely just down to the level of usage doesn't seem very big. Um, I know the area itself is surrounded by a massive woods, which you can walk through, uh, and it's really, really nice. But uh, the station actually sees an only an hourly service compared to the other stations, which see half hourly. This one sees hourly, and there's some services that pass. Hopefully we're gonna get one pass through, because last time I didn't. So this time I want to. So um, we're here for an hour. We've got no bus connection here because the nearest bus stop's like 15 minutes away. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a load of fun here. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't have any fun anyway. Probably need 200 from what I read. Um, but yeah. So yeah, let's. Um, we're gonna have a look around if there's any other facts. We also have Michael here who is a local to Bentley, he's from Alton. So uh, he knows the area really, really well. So it's nice to have him along as well for a brief period. Um, so yeah, we'll update you soon. Okay, arriving in, this is 1702, Southwestern Railway service to Alton, 450-016. It was a nice suggestion from Michael to come up on the footbridge and get a shot. Out towards Alton is pretty good I'm coming from as well the rear is 450.049 and uh, update when the string goes out here you go now is the 1702 southwestern railway surface to Alton calling it Alton only 
Now we're here at Bentley. Now I'm going to heading over to Alton. So this station actually serves two areas. So it's the village of Bentley and the hamlet of Isington. They're roughly the same distance from where the station is at right now. So not too bad. Uh, but yeah. nice station this I really am a fan of how it looks it's a lovely view over all right so what I've noticed for Bentley as well is that there is quite a few level crossings that or foot crossings I should say that sort of frequent it there is like a big wooded area around here and there is um, some foot crossings that are around here now it is down to common sense and uh, around this area I can imagine there's a lot of trouble that happens around there I don't know if Mike can confirm if, there's, if it's notorious for having trespassers. Um, yes, yeah, so and there was one one fatality a couple of years back. Oh, all right. So what around here, around the Bentley area, was it? It was this, this crossing here. Oh wow. Okay. Problem is, is like none of them are barriered, are they? No. So. They like they're, 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 well. These crossings, they use a work crossing, so they're they are reliant on people using people using them mm. with common sense <laughs> unfortunately that doesn't always happen no <laughs> i mean you'd think so but i mean you get so many reports of it and the thing is is like you don't even need foot crossings to cause a problem with trespassing nowadays you can just do anything you can climb over a fence you can get through some bushes it's so accessible um and there's this guy that hadn't paid for his ticket Revenue protection officers were there. Yeah. He went to go down the that sort of ramp there. Yeah. Down towards Farnham Level Crossing. <laughs> How well did that go? Uh, well, the train driver gave him a rather large blast of the horn, and yeah. the RPIs were shouting at him. Epic turn. He then managed to get back and he pushed past him and just fucked it off. No, oh, right. Wow. <laughs> Interesting way of going. But we were reading up as well that the usage of this station is pretty poor. Yeah. 20,000 yeah. wasn't it? Um, so looking at the at the passenger stats, it's been on sort of a slow decline. They did have sort of an average about 140,000 yeah. per year. But then obviously COVID came around in 2020. Yeah. And um, the, yeah. It's just declined. The area is quite small though, isn't it? It's a village, isn't it, Bentley? And there's a ham, oh, it's a hamlet, isn't it? Or is it a village? Uh, it's a village. It's a village. So basically there's two parts, two parts of Bentley. Yeah. Um, and it's so you've got the village down there yeah um which well no so the village is across the hill over there and this is sort of like a sort of little hamlet area but it's still part of bentley right so it's sort of in two parts because there's a probably a, there's a road that goes up towards the bentley village which is across over the hill over there yeah because then also you've got the a31 a31 splits this bit and the actual bentley village oh, okay but these are all still it's all still bentley so fair enough yeah so it's uh it's sort of in, in in between almost if you like but yeah it doesn't seem very well served and and there is an argument saying maybe around this area of hampshire it's probably the least used but it's not the least used no. and the and least it went, used it went down the same during covid went down to twenty thousand. and what was it the previous period 140 140 000. <laughs> that says a lot really and you said as well this platform isn't really used unless it's needed to no, isn't it so it's, it's a passing loop essentially yeah um, so, say if you have the MPVs, uh, if they come through, normally they'll stick the. If it's going back up towards London, they'll stick the passenger training platform too. It will sit here and wait because obviously there's no starter signal the other side of platform one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but they can run. They can run the trains through bidirectionally, but there's there's just no start signal for the Alton direction. On I see. One. I see. And the speed limit through is pretty good. Uh, about seventy. So, so yeah, train come through about 20 past, it'd be absolutely stonking it through here. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll see that shortly as well. So we'll see if uh, this is where it gets delayed and goes really slowly. <laughs> you <laughs> watch, just because we've said that now. 
<laughs> but cool, that's some facts for you by Mike because he offered to help out here because he's a local. So thank you, Mike. That was appreciated. It's all right. Awesome. Okay, coming through now, we've got a Southwestern Railway service from Alton to London Waterloo. Four fifty zero six A and four fifty zero thirty. So there goes that one heading over to London Waterloo from Alton. Good speed through actually. Is that wire? Okay, so we just found another one of the foot crossings here at Bentley. Now, obviously, with a lot of these, and I will obviously put the message out. Do make sure if you ever come to one of these you stop look listen and always be aware of trains coming you should there are horns that get blown to know when they are on the way just down there is a single track se section and obviously it just says don't touch the live rail because it is literally right next to this crossing but it is a foot crossing it's an unmanned unprotected foot crossing so this area is potentially dangerous when it comes to going to areas so you have to make sure if you know your trains that there isn't one coming <laughs> um stop looking listen Exactly, and beware of trains. Anyway, so I'm going to walk over because there's no trains due yet. But uh, this is the track. It goes towards Bentley, and there it is towards the single track section going away from it. And then, yeah, this section here is just literally just the other side. And then it leads you around to Bentley Station again. Um, but yeah never ever spot like here because you're way too close and the drivers get really worried so make sure you don't actually spot around here just use it as a crossing as and when you actually need to so don't think we're going to spot here because we're certainly not but we just wanted to show you it show you that you can do it but you should do it sensibly and never ever like stand right next to it Anyway, let's uh, we'll head back to Bentley Station, but this is the other foot crossing that Mike was that I was talking to Mike about. Uh, he's right there, and yeah, um, we shall carry on. Okay, in comes the service to Alton, which is four fifty zero forty. We'll try and go up here, but this is as far as we're going. Four fifty zero two seven. And that is service to Alton from London Waterloo. The 17... 32 service. Right, arriving here, 1751, Southwestern Railway service from Alton to London Waterloo. 450049. And we say goodbye to Mike here as well. Thank you for joining us briefly. See you later, and see you guys, see you later mate, yeah. take care. Right, onwards to Brookwood we go. I'll update you when we get there. Yeah. Right, here we are at Brookwood station on the southwestern main line. Um, we're going to watch the 450s head out, heading to London Waterloo from Alton. We're back on the southwestern main line now for the last bit of today. And yes, let's let this train. Fucking go on. What? Come on. Who scored? Sure. Who? Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Oh. Man United man, eh? Assisted by Conor Gallagher. Oh. Robbers. Up the Man United. Robbers. Go on. Luke Shaw just scored for England. Let's see him. So this is Brookwood Station, located on the southwestern main line. I have some more facts about the station in just a moment. The train just sparked. Yeah, it's nice. This station looks really nice. And the southwestern main line section around here, there's always some good views. Brandon's there enjoying his life with the shades that are not his. 
So we're going to... Yes. So we're going to... Brandon won't be quiet. Anyway, so um, we're going to see some trains come through. We'll obviously unleash some facts about the station, if you can, and go from there. But the station is served by the Basingstoke and Alton services. And we do actually have a passing train. Let's see this go through. I think it's a 450. Yeah, it is. And it might actually be stopping. No, it's fast. No, it's passing through. Four fifty zero nine nine and four fifty one oh seven. Heading over to London Waterloo. So we'll update you soon with some more updates on this station. Okay, arriving here is the 1823 South Western Railway Service from Basingstoke to London Waterloo. We are staying here for a little bit. Of course, we allow to see some trains come through because we haven't really seen much on this SWML today. 450038. Yeah, it's comes kind of between here and Basingstoke. Ah. Um, Waterloo and Basingstoke. Guess what? Hang on. 450021. Yeah, I just seen. So we're going to see a 159 pass through, but it's been cancelled in between here and Basingstoke. So, yes. That's what it's. Well, Waterloo and Basingstoke, you mean. I mean, sorry. Not here. It doesn't stop here. Anyway, we'll update you soon. Do let this train go out. Right. The part now is the uh, 1823 South Western Railway service from Basingstoke to London Waterloo. There goes that one heading to London Waterloo. Here we've got 450.073 and something else on the rear. You'll see that go out in a moment. Okay, going out now is the 1825 Southwestern Railway Service to Basingstoke. 450.073 on the front. And what's on the rear? 450. A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Had to. Everyone cringes at it now, but it's still there. 45123 is at the rear, and that's heading over to Basingstoke. Triple four zero twenty, and what was the rear? It was zero. I think it was 017, passing. That's heading over to Southampton Airport Parkway from London Waterloo. Then on goes. Right, passing through now, we've got a service from Portsmouth Harbour to London Waterloo. This one went by Eastley. O two nine, I think, or O two one was the rear, and I think it was triple four double O one at the front. Double O one and zero two nine. Double O one and zero two nine. There we go. And there goes four fifty zero four two and one one six, heading over to Alton from London Waterloo. Next stop for that one is Ashvale. And that one goes. Right, passing through now, we've got some more triple fours going to Portsmouth Harbour from London Waterloo. Triple four double oh four and triple four zero ten. An all white set, which actually isn't that common anymore. So there that one goes. Most of them have been painted with that. Okay, coming through now, we've got a South Western Railway service from Salisbury to London Waterloo. This one's formed of a three car. Yeah, three car. Right, 
that one goes. Right, passing through now, we've got passing through now. We've got a Southwestern Railway service to Exeter St David's from London Waterloo. Sounds good. I know the rear of it is 159101. Okay. So that was uh, that was on there. Then that one goes, thing, heading yeah. over to Exeter St David's. Got 450018 here. And on the rear we have 450059 and this is our train to Woking. And we'll be finishing the video shortly, but it won't be until we get to our last station of the day, Basingstoke. But we'll update you when we get there. This is Brookwood, we're done. Good little spotting session we've had. Off we go to Woking. Okay, now here at Woking. And we'll update you. Uh, in a minute, this is Woking. Not going to film... No, actually, no, I will film this trip, but I'll update you in a minute. There's 159010 and 159106 heading over to London Waterloo from Exeter St David's. An old and a new livery, perfect. That was good. So, so uh, the assaults we wanted to head off, but we're not going to see that one go. But uh, what we're going to do next is wait for our train to take us over. You can see the soldier one from here though. goes to Salisbury. There we go. Right, arriving in here is the 1946 South Western Railway service to Exeter St David's and the Oval Junction. The Oval Junction, Exeter St David's even. Let's go in ascending order. And a 450 as well. Update you when we get over to Basingstoke on this one. Right, now we're here at Basingstoke, final station of the day. This is also where me and Brandon are staying today. So, fun fact we've arrived in 13 minutes late due to a door fault on the 159. Doesn't that sound familiar? 165 from Aylesbury Rail Parkway. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We've got a 450 arriving here, 450.078. And 450, uh, 113, heading to London Waterloo from Portsmouth Harbour, this one. Now, question is, will these 159s have a problem again? Ready to see? Everything's all good. Good news. Off it goes. Yeah, work that time. That's good.
Okay, so it's 15906, 104, and 022. Even though real time train said 001. So, inaccurate. Thanks. My Instagram looks inaccurate now. I'm joking. Um, so, this is Basingstoke. This is the final station of the day. This is the only station we've been to today that serves another set of operators other than the same operator. In other words, this station serves South Western Railway, Cross Country, and Great Western Railway. So, what time is it now? 2020. I've got another train to film, and then we're going to finish up. Thought I'll update you shortly. This is Basingstoke. Okay, going out over here, it's the 2023 Great Western Railway service to Reading. One six five one one eight. It is one one eight. Triple four is passing through there. Heading over to South. Excuse my voice crack. Southampton Airport Parkway. I swear I just never hit puberty. Honestly, I just feel like I'm in that. I'm in that transition, and I'm 25, and I'm still in that transition. So, no cross country services are calling here, but I will give a description about this station. South Western Railway, the main operator. Going to, as of course, London Waterloo, as well as this is the junction for the West of England main line towards Salisbury and then onwards to Exeter, St David's, via Yeovil Junction. Uh, there's stopping services, like that one over there, going to London Waterloo, that, that do semi stopping. They do all stops from here, so they serve Hook, Winchfield, Fleet, and Farnborough, and then goes to Brickwood and then Woking, and then after that, it does a bit of a faster service into London Waterloo, going straight from Surbiton to Waterloo. Uh, Southampton Airport services are hourly here, with one other half an hour passing through, like that one you just saw. And the rest of it, there's a Salisbury service, obviously it does all stops. So, Whitchurch, Overton and Greatly. And then there's Ports of Harbour services via Eastleigh. And there goes a service starting here to London Waterloo. Four fifty was oh six eight. And oh three seven, I think. That could be wrong. Anyway, there goes that one. So uh, cross country operate here, one train every near enough every two hours in each direction, sometimes hourly, uh, between Manchester and Bournemouth. But at the moment it is only Manchester to Reading sometimes. Bournemouth is an extension now, every two hours, near enough. Um, but at the moment, the next service is 2049, and that's from Southampton Airport to Manchester Piccadilly. Weird enough, I'm not diverting today. And then Great Western Railway, the only other one, and they run half hourly shuttles to Reading, doing all stops. And SWR on Sundays go from here to Reading as well. So there you go, that's the description of this station. It is one of the largest towns in Hampshire. Um, and the station is home to a big uh, shopping centre right outside the station, which is also home to the bus station near outside the interchange. Uh, Basingstoke Station Interchange almost, you might as well call it that. Um, but yeah, that's Basingstoke in a nutshell. Um, the busy, one of the busiest stations we visited today as well. So, with that in mind, I'm going to finish the video here because I'm conscious that, uh, you know, it's been a really, really good day actually. So, um, thank you guys for watching today's video from Hampshire 2. If you have thought you liked what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe and do leave any comments. By the way, this is Basingstoke Platform 5. This is a bit of a hidden one, like I say. The one I'm standing on now, which is for the Reading ones. Not a lot of people find this without signage, so. Um, anyway, um, this has been a really, really good day out and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I've really enjoyed it. If you, like I said, please check out my Facebook group if you want any trip updates. Also check out my Instagram for story updates. And yeah. That's Hampshire 2 done. Again, and hopefully this time without an SD card failure. We'll see. Um, thank you guys for watching. 450's coming in. The next trip for me, episode of Every Platform, is another redone one from the East Coast Main Line, the southern section, East Coast Main Line South, which is next. Keep an eye out for that, and I will see you in that video. For now, guys, after this four minute clip, uh, finishing the video thanks for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye